I was born in this house. I was born 4-27-27. I was raised by my parents and I had two sisters and three brothers. I've lost all three of my brothers and I went to school at the Ten Hill and then I finished Ten Hill, I went to Haskell. But before I finished uh, Ten, uh, Ten Hill, we went one year over at Goodland Orphanage as you go. Mm -hmm. Went there and then, and then I finished here. Then I went to Haskell and finished there. Then I was going to go to uh, nurses training school. I wasn't really sure I wanted to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. So when I came home, we went, uh, my sister and I, Betty and I, went to Lawton, to that end of school down there for nurses' aid. Then I, I liked it enough to uh, ask my brother, he was going to OSU, and ask him if he had, they were doing training over there, and he said yes. So I went down there and enrolled, passed my exam, got my room and everything. Then they told me that they, had, they, they hadn't started that yet, I don't guess. I think they do now, but they didn't at the time. Mm -hmm. And so I came home that weekend, and uh, my, both my parents were sick. So I stayed home, and I stayed home and took care of them until they passed away. Then I'll start putting on weight because I wasn't doing anything. So during a, I went over to the school because they had already moved over there to the new location there. And uh, during the, while they were in class, I start running around in the gym. And then one of the teachers caught me out there. <laughs> she was coaching. And then she asked me if I had uh, played ball before, and she said, I said, yes. Well, she said, uh, would you mind helping me? So I said, okay. So uh, I start helping her with the basketball. And then after a couple of games, she told me, you can have them. <laughs> I, I hate to brag, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> I was winning my games. And uh, I don't know whether that caused it or not, but anyway, they said I didn't have a certificate. And uh, I guess it's the law anyway. So they said I couldn't coach anymore. So they got a regular coach, and they they said I could assist them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing ever since. I started when I was about thirty-four, I guess. Yeah. So, okay. so it's She's been a while. Still there. <laughs> <laughs> then I coached over the, and I took them. So I took some. Uh, well, the girls' club opened up, mm -hmm. and when they did, uh, they had a softball team down there, and I had a team here. So I took the whole bunch over there, and we won that whole, that that year. And uh, they said, "No, they you brought your whole team, so we can't afford that to do that." So they start separating my team. So, but I stayed there anyway because mm -hmm. the next following year we had to start buying the team. You know the. Uh, I figured if I had a pitcher and a catcher, I, I was okay because I could teach the hitting and the, and the catching. So you started yeah, out? Yeah, but it, but it took time to pitch and catch. Mm -hmm. But if they were already started doing that already, it, it wouldn't take long for them to learn to do that. So uh, here at the school, I, instead of just doing b basketball, I was doing softball, and then we did track. We did so. I was elected <laughs> to do everything. I lined up the bases when we were going playing ball and 
mow the lawn and whatever, get it all set up to play ball. Mm -hmm. And I, I retired one year, when they, then I couldn't stay away from the kids, mm -hmm. I think. So I went back. So, but I just go every once, well, I've been sick on and off here lately, and I just go when I can. Yeah. And uh, the kids seem to like me, so that, that helps. <laughs> But you've had a lot of influence on a lot of kids in Taney Hill. Well, uh, I think so. Uh, some of them look, became coaches. Mm -hmm. So I felt good about it. I think that they were able to, to enjoy the, or thought I had enjoyed what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And they liked the way I coached. So they decided, I guess, to sign as coach. And one of them became a Oh, she's uh, in the Hall of Fame now for, for coaching. Well, I'm cool. proud of her. Okay. Sounds like you followed them throughout their careers. Yeah, I do. I, uh, I was in the kids that leave here when they go to high school. I'll follow them too, you know, mm -hmm. and in the papers where they're playing ball and what they're doing. See the pictures in the paper. It just makes me glad. Yeah. And But I always told them that as much as I enjoyed them playing ball and winning, that wasn't it, all of it. They had to study. When I had them, I said, if you don't make your grade or up to par, you couldn't go. Some of us, one of my best players, I wouldn't go because she didn't have her lessons. She didn't go. So the next time, she was ready to go. But that came first. The lesson came first. I always made, I asked the teachers, are they doing their homework, doing what they're supposed to be doing in class? And if they were, well, that's fine. Then they could play. But that was first. And that's what I still teach, is tell them that because I know some of them won't be able to play pro or anything, and sometimes it's just they only play here because sometimes they're small, mm -hmm. and they're not able to play high school or even college because they're smaller than they want. They want to be them tall and everything. Mm -hmm. So I said, lessons. That's what you're going to have to learn. Um, I'd also heard that you were inducted into a Hall of Fame yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I don't like to say anything. I mean, I, like to, I, <laughs> I always like to brag on somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Well, I played when I went to Tandy Hill here. We didn't have enough boys. Mm -hmm. So I played baseball. And uh, I had two brothers older than me, so naturally I could catch, hit. Then I had to shag balls for them too, so I was had to be fast on my feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I played with the boys, I played outfield because I wore glasses. Yeah. And uh, so when I went to Haskell, the boys pick up kids, I mean, boys, and they'd have a game out there. I wanted to play so bad because they knew that I knew how to play baseball. Mm -hmm. So I went over there and I asked them if I could play. They didn't know whether to take me or not, you know, but I begged, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they let me play, and after that, it was no, no big deal. Yeah. So all through high school, I played when they pick up kids and start playing out there. And well, I go out and I get to play. Is there any advice that you'd like to give? Some words of wisdom? Oh, <laughs> just be happy. <laughs> and it is, it is, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Just be happy what you do.
and enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, it's nothing. <laughs>